let's get into the first half breakdown. We're starting to get into the thick of the NBA season. The Nets have the lead out in Brooklyn against Miami. They've been relentless attacking the rim, dominating in points in the paint. Bodies down low have been banging away. A solid performance by DeAndre Jordan. He's got 13 points and has looked very good defensively, playing hard-nosed ball out there. And a tough matchup, but the Heat staying afloat. Hard to find a lot to like about their performance so far. They'll need to pay much better attention in the second half to the details. Details. Victor Oladipo hasn't been able to get it going. His shot has been a wall lately. Still on the run in this one. And a look at the games being played right now. For the Pistons, a closely contested game against Portland. Things are even in the second quarter. And the other game also going on still. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against the Jazz at Energy Solutions Arena. Smooth sailing so far for them. Game in the third. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And welcome back to New York City as we look at an enchanting view of Lady Liberty. It's been one outstanding game from Jordan. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. Here's who Eric Spolster is starting the second half with. They've got Dragic. Robinson is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Oladipo and Durant. Here we go. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. Kevin Durant. And that's good from Durant. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Heat trail by nine. And Oladipo kicks the brunch. Leads him in there. Wants to get it to Butler and does. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Backing up the points down low. Well, that's exactly what these guys have done this season. Check out the top scoring big men in the NBA. Kevin Durant, third. Well, that's as scary a collection of big men as you'd want to see. Game planning for any of them is a challenge because you know how much defensive attention you're going to have to devote to them. Yeah, it's almost like you've got to pick your poison. Either you leave other areas of the floor open and put some extra bodies down low, or you risk one of these guys running wild on them. Irving is to Durant. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. A chance now to get a glimpse at how the Heat are doing early in the season in the NBA stats. Fourth in free throw percentage, tenth in scoring, and they are in the top third of the league in assists. With the quality of players they have, you thought they might be better there, but not bad. Yeah, you look at the free throw shooting, Clark. It's very impressive. Uh, they've been in the top five, as you talked about, uh, and it's a result of a lot of effort, a lot of concentration. And when you shoot them that well, uh, then you gain confidence and you really start attacking the rim because you want to go to the free throw line to shoot. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Irving against Dragic. And Durant, here we go. Excellent D that time from Robinson. The Heat trail by five. Oladipo, the pass to Dragic. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Dragic has got 13. Here's Irving. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll avoid the basket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Irving against Dragic. The feed to Robinson. That's it, coming off an assist from Dragic. Robinson. Dragic has got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, and he's a bomber. I mean, that's what I love about him. He's as good a three-point shooter as you'll see. And of course, has the green light to let him fly any time he wants. And what I like, quite honestly, is his rock-solid consistency offensively. You know he's going to put the ball in the basket for you every game. Oh, and he Bank in off the glass. Everything's going right now. Four for five shooting, 80%. They've got their offense clicking. It's Harden with the drive. Back to Harris. They grab their own miss. Here's Jordan. Blanketed by the game. He fights to the rim for the layup. Jordan's got four points this quarter. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting 
has led them to this lead. Oh, and Ipo misses. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Here's Harden. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense of that, Harden's got seven. But he trailed by six. Feeds it to Oladipo. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Deadman. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Ten points for him. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it's not been contagious. And his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. By Alicia. He's checked in for Miami. Durant off a pick from Jordan. Durant kicks to Irving from downtown, and that one's good. Talk about going to Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Rogic dishes to Oladipo. A fadeaway. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Durant's got four rebounds in this game. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. You know, there's no fear out of him, guys. I mean, going straight to the hoop against a much bigger defender, uh, he's got a lot of heart. Stolen by Robinson. And here's the fast break. Old Epo leading the way. Rejected by Irving. Defended by Butler. Short. Durant. Off target from outside. Kevin, just enough presence to bother that three-point attempt there. Well, for a guy that shoots like he does, I mean, I'd say that is an easy look. Man, excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. It seems like they're finding an open lane of the hoop every time down. That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Here's Bialitsa, guarded by Jordan. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Durant's got rebound number five here tonight. An easy two points on the left. Durant's got 14 points for the game. The Heat trail by 10. Stolen by Kyrie Irving. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for the Nets. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Not covered by Irving. As the Bialich. To halt the run, and Durant with the play. Just two to shoot, and the shot is good. Nets leading by 10. Hit his foot, and it's being called a kickball. Robinson's checked in for Bialica. And here's Harden for three, and it's Miami with the rebound. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Robinson for three. Rebound, Brooklyn. Irving's got three rebounds so far in the game. Here's Harris. Here's Harden. Good. Harden's got nine. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. Making free throws a big key for any team. Let's see the best in the NBA. In third, the Nets. In fourth, the Heat. And both these teams are going to be extremely aggressive trying to attack the rim because they're so good from the foul line. And that is good. He has six. These guys know each other well, clearly, because that was a beautiful pass. Irving passes to Durant. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming as well. Oh, what a play. The hoop plus the horn. Excellent concentration on the finish. That's big time. 
This will make five trips now to the free throw line for him tonight. Tipped away. Dives for it. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. That's leading by 13. Outside Irving. Back to Durant. Let's the free fly. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists tonight. And his shots are dropping right now. This quarter has been very kind to him. Number 11. No good off the front line. Well, he's wide open there, but uh, really struggles from that range. Maybe there's a reason he's open. The kick out to Irving. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. He had a quick review here looking at some numbers for Kyrie Irving. Second in steal. And as a distributor, he's been really effective, ranking in the top ten in assists. And Steve, I think the steals per game average that he sports is really an impressive stat. I mean, you think about coming up with the steals that he does and the way he does it. He does it with smarts and tenacity. <laughs> Give him his badge as a charter member of the High Flyer Club. I think he's president of that club. Oh, man. Do, do they have a vote for that, guys? <laughs> the Heat trail by 16. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. and goes in. Not. He's certainly not been at his best this quarter. And that's an understatement. His three pointers off the mark. But an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. And blocked. And it's out of bounds to the heat as Miami retains possession. it off the glass. Eight points for him. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. He gets to Durant. Three seconds left. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Coming up Monday, January 18th, the Philadelphia 76ers hit the road for a duel with the Atlanta Hawks. Don't miss it. Welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Nets leading by 14. Griffin is out there with Durant. Then there's Brown. And it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Harris in at the three slot. So that's the Nets five. Offensive rebound. Here's Griffin. And he is fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it and look to finish the play right there. And Miami making a change here. Harden's checked in. The free throw off from Griffin. That's tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Brooklyn. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And the Heat making a change here. And for the Nets, they're shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. And Oladipo gets to a reason. Knocks down the three ball. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. He hits Brown with the drive. Griffin. Outside Durant. Takes a three. And that one's good. Durant's got 23. They've had the hotter hand in the first half so far. No question. Yeah, it's because of all the high percentage shots they've been working for and getting. He dishes it to Oladipo. Here's Drogic from outside. Blake Griffin pulls it in. Griffin's got four rebounds in this game. 
Such a solid performance for them inside. The rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. The Heat trail by 18, and it's Trogic off the drive. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. And what a game for Trevor Ariza. 13 points, and he sprayed home three three-pointers as well. Yeah, productive day for him from long range. And Miami making a change here, so he gets them both. Boy, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half, but uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. Miami's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. It's Trogic with the drive. The shot is off, and Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. It's three on three on the fast break. And the jam by the well, they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Well, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous work. Timeout called the Heat. Well, just too many easy buckets, you know, in and around the paint. So he wants to put a stop to it. This timeout is going to be used to try to tighten up the defense. Guys, at this level, they won't miss often if you keep giving up looks inside. And they're paying for that right now. Good timeout here. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish, I thought, Clark, angry. That's a heck of a combination. Pretty pass and an angry punch. I would call it an irate finish, even. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Irving attacking. Here's the three. Griffin's shot is off. The Heat trail by 16. Drogic dishes to Robinson. Drogic gets the bucket. The Nets have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. And stolen by Ariza. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Dragic is running. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. Kevin Durant's checked in for the Nets. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Boy, they're fortunate. Defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. And they See the way he times his passes so well. That was a great assist. The Heat trail by 16. Up top, Frogic. He's covered by Irving. They get the rebound. Deadman. And they're able to recover. And there's the call on Kyle Irving. That's foul number two for him. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call, that trip. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. They get a hand on it. Rogic gets to Oladipo. Deadman. Right side, Butler. Six on the shot clock. And a big-time jam right there. Now, you're talking about a power surge. That's how you power that thing down. He went hard to the hoop, Clark, and didn't disappoint when he got there. Well, there's no need to be passive. I mean, you've got to attack. It's Harden with the drive. Take a look at what Harden's been doing. He's got 17 points in the comes the rebound. He has, he's had a nice night there, too. Now he's really been mixing it up in the middle, getting in there and doing a lot of the dirty work for them. Harden hits them both. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Oladipo, good. Oladipo's got four points now in the quarter. Nets leading by 14. And Durant, here we go. The three from Harden. Another miss by Harden. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. That's good. 17 points for Goran Dragic. All the points these defenders are allowing inside is inexcusable. Final pass is in a row, and they've all been practical lanes. Yeah, they've got to harden and toughen up down there, guys. Boy, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the slider club right now. Yeah, they will. Exactly. It's with them. Yeah, but you don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up, though, either. DeAndre George has checked in for Blake Griffin. Here's Jordan. Harden lets up. A three ball. That is good. 
Harden's got 24 points. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Broke loose. And now Irving pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Butler with the ball. Guarded now by Irving. Miami no good on that time either. Nets leading by 19 points. Durant attacking. 14 feet away. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. I love the flow that they've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Well, and that lead they have just continues to grow and grow. Now a timeout called by Miami. You know, he understandably doesn't like what's going on out there, and that's why he wants to talk things over during this timeout. I think this is a good time to call a timeout. They just need to hit pause for a second and then reset as well. Outside Robinson. Robinson can't get that one to fall. And here are the Nets. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Harris kicks to Jordan. He passes to Durant. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. And now it's up to 25 points for Kevin Durant. He'd have gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Butler kicks to Robinson. Eight feet away. Jump shot is good that time. Boy, he can be a matchup nightmare inside the paint. Brooklyn leading by 21. Irving passes to Harris. Irving. The shot is off. Some solid defense from Dragic. Mark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And it's sent back by Irving. And out of bounds is the Nets gain possession. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. Brooklyn with the ball. Gives him the lead pass. Durant dishes to Irving. Stolen away. Vincent. And Durant with the block. Here's Irving. Nice D from Vincent. And Durant with the block. Here's Harden. The kick out to Irving. Again, Irving missing. The Heat trail by 21. And there's the pass to Vincent. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. 14 foul. It's Bialica. Traps in the tray. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. On the wing, Irving, defended by Vincent. A nice shot by Irving. And the Nets lead by 20. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Vincent. And he knocks out the first one. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. All free throws good from Vincent. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Johnson defended by Vincent. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. There's 39 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Jacks up a three. Rebound, Brooklyn. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. Bro, you don't see him miss that shot very often. When he's open like that, it usually lights out. Yeah, he got waxed. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. So Johnson hits two of them. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And nothing you can do to, to salvage this one at this point. Game over. Not anymore. Any chance they had is gone. Rip 
knocked away. From half court, off target. And so it's Brooklyn.